Hello everybody and welcome back to part 4 of creating the blog app using React and Redux. I'm Akshit and this is my YouTube channel where I upload videos about programming and I try to upload almost every single day. And also I try to explain it in a very simple manner. So if you're new here make sure to subscribe and let's get started. So I'm just going to show my screen right here. And what I'm going to do first is just go ahead and basically create a new file. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is actually implementing the functionality that if we click on this little read more button, then it will actually redirect us to, um, you know, like the reading page, you can say, of the actual blog. So that's what we're going to be doing now. So first thing we want to do is just create a blog slice, not blog slice, slice. So blog slice.js. And I'm just going to paste the stuff in. So we're just creating a slice, naming it blog. And the initial state is we have a couple of states right here. And then we have um, a set blog function, or I should say action. And here we're just setting all of this stuff. So we just export all of this. So these are basically um, the selectors. And yeah, so that's basically how this file looks. And now in store, what we wanna do is just add a comma and just say blog is blog reducer. Reducer, like so. We're just going to copy that, do that, paste that in, and just say blog slice. Okay, save that, and that should actually work. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is uh, just go over to the blog to the blog.js, and what we want to do right over here is um, where is it? Right here blog and we'll just say uh, where, uh, there we go on click not on slice on click I can type on click then we just want actually let's just create a new function for this so let's create a function called like open blog or something and then let's say const open blog is equal to an arrow function like so and what we're going to do right over here is just say dispatch dispatch and we of course want to bring in the dispatch so oops here so const dispatch is equal to use dispatch like that and we're going to import oops no 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 import why isn't it coming here use dispatch from react dash redux and now we will dispatch a set blog now set blog import that set blog to this right here There we go. So this is what we want to do. And then after we actually uh, do that, um, let's see, what do we want to do? We just want to do this. So it's just history.push. And did I actually create the history? Nope. So const history is equal to use history. Like so. So history.push slash id slash read and of course we need a route for that. 
And now here, um, let's see if it is compiled actually. React Redux. Um, it should be like this. So user dispatch should be in curly brackets. Come back here, refresh, and we should see, hopefully, that it works. So if we just click, there we go. So it redirected us to the page, but of course we don't have the route. And the reason is actually displaying the headers because here in app.js, if you can notice, the header is not in any route. It's also outside of the switch. So the header will always be displayed no matter which um, like uh, route we're in. So that's why I put this outside of the switch. Now, of course, we need to create the actual route for the ID of the blog slash read. So I'm just going to come here and paste this right there and we need to bring all this stuff in so let's come here add that and do that there we go and now it's actually working and of course we need to create the blog display component so blogs new folder just the same blogs or actually it's blog display and inside of there we need to create the actual file so blog display .js and of course the CSS file so blog display .css like so and here we just want to import the um blog display or uh, actually here we need to create the component and only then we can import it so underscore afce save that come here import that save come here h1 blog display like so use selector is not defined so let's come here and import that Okay, and as you can see, just as block display. Now I'm just going to paste in the CSS, and this we don't need to worry. Let's just refresh, and it should be gone. Now this is the stuff that we need, so I'll just paste it in. And in block display, I'm just going to get rid of this and paste this stuff in. So uh, we did not actually take in the prop, so. Oh, let's come here and actually for making stuff a little quicker I'm just going to paste this in so let's come here and for the props we need that and uh, then right after this we will have a blog display comment section and uh, and I know that's a lot of code but you can just uh, copy this and paste it in from the github repositor repository and uh, yeah it should work for you so here is just um h3 okay and we need to bring in the user so we'll do that and we need to create a state called input and we need to create a function called send comment and an array called comments okay so that's what we need to do so i'm going to do all of that stuff right here Oops. So this stuff. Oh, uh, we need to import that and that. Use selector, of course. Select user there. Use effect. And you can notice right here that we're going inside of the co uh, collection called blogs and then getting the ID, so whichever blog we have clicked. And then inside of that collection, we have another collection. So you can create a collection inside of a collection, which is called comments. So, and then after that is just on snapshot. And we're just basically setting the comments to whatever the value of that is. Save that, come back here. And avatar is not defined, so where is it? right here 
do that, save that. And we can only send comments if we are logged in. So if I just come here and if I just click on a blog, that works, but we haven't imported the CSS. So let's do exactly that. So import dot slash blog display dot CSS. And now we should get like a beautiful blog page. Actually, we need to give this thing a class name right here. So class name blog display. Okay, and there we go. So we have got a beautiful blogs section. Or I should say blogs display. So here are the comments. If I just say like uh, not here, let me switch to the other blog. And if I just say awesome and then as you can see we can send comments so if i come here and if i refresh the page and then if i click as you can see that stays right there and now if i just log out as you can see i can't actually send a comment so only when we're logged in, we can send a comment. So now with that actually being said, we're ready to go ahead and deploy our application. So I've just closed down all of the files and let's just hit control J and we're just going to open up a new terminal. Let's just CD into blog app demo. And here, uh, what's that? What's happening here? Right there, we just want to do CD blog app demo, and we'll just clear the console, and we'll just say, if you haven't logged into Firebase, you need to say Firebase login. But I already know that I've logged in, so we're just going to do Firebase init. So this, what we're doing now, is just hosting the application using Firebase. So basically, we're just uh, like initializing Firebase by using the firebase init command so we'll just wait for this to go ahead and um, like load up and then we should actually be ready to go so firebase init and these are basically the same commands that we saw when we set up firebase hosting so there was first firebase login then firebase init then firebase deploy for right now, we're just going to do Firebase in it. And for some reason, it's taking a while. So I don't actually know why. But... Uh, so here we are. So I am ready to proceed. And here we do want to use our arrow keys. Go down to hosting. Just click spacebar. Enter. Use an existing project. And uh, we're just going to scroll, or we're just going to use the arrow keys until we get to the um, project. So it's just blog app demo yt for me. And here, this is very important. Just type in build. Uh, configure as a single page app. No, no. And there we go. And now what we want to do is uh, just say npm run build which will basically just create an optimized production build because right now our app is not actually ready for deployment it's going to basically create a folder called build and firebase when we do firebase deploy is just going to deploy that folder so this is going to compress all of that stuff down and create a build folder and that's what we're going to deploy basically so this is just going to take a while, so I'm just going to pause the recording and once this actually completes, I'll be back. So here as you can see, it's just gone ahead and finished the um, npm run build command. So now what we will do is firebase deploy, which will just go ahead and deploy our application. Um, so we'll just wait for this and... It should not take um, a lot of time, so uh, let's just see. Hopefully, this loads up fast. It just takes time to like load up, and then after that, it will just uh, deploy your app in just some time. So it's just started and is just hosting, uploading new files, uh, 
So we'll just wait for that. Finalizing version, releasing new version, and there we go. Our app has been deployed. So if we just open this up, we should actually see that our app is deployed. So blog app demo. And uh, as you can see, our app is deployed. And now with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. And in this video, we just gonna we have gone ahead and created or completed the blog application. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.